All right. Today we're shooting a Viral HW50S M177. Picked it up on Black Friday. Haven't had too much time with the rifle, but it sure does shoot well. Uh, today, we're going to shoot a couple groups. We're going to be shooting with the Barracuda Match 4.5177, 10 10.65 grain. Distance is 25 yards. On the rifle, we have it equipped with a, a Williams FPA GTK, which is the foolproof air gun, target knob, rear sight. Shooting the skinny post, front insert. See how we do with it. There's a little bit of shade on the target. I think we'll be okay though. Virals, every time you cock them and you close the action, it automatically engages the rear safety. Pretty hip. Some people might complain about it, but it's the perfect spot for a lefty to get their thumb on it. So I'm not mad about it. It's a good safety feature, though, on a target or hunting rifle. Extra little bit of safety there before you get on the triggers helpful because this trigger is fantastic it's a record trigger they call it i haven't even adjusted it from the factory all right just looking down range at that target i know this rifle can do better these next five shots maybe i'll just shut up and focus what do you say? I take personal offense to that, so I'm just going to continue to shoot for a little bit. That ain't right. It was all me. So I will shoot as long as I do my part. Now, I haven't tried other pellets with it, but just still in the break in process with it. I'm trying to go ahead and make a couple videos in the series about different pellets to try. I know I got some winners, I got some others that are a little bit more budget and cost friendly. People might like to see some groups. As you can see, she will shoot. She will shoot as long as you do your part. The Barracudas are pretty, pretty, pretty swell with this rifle, I'll tell you that. I'm excited to try more. I figure I'll just burn through a whole 10 of these before I get too fired up with testing out some more pellets. Yeah, she'll shoot. Will it shoot? I don't know if I've told you, but she'll shoot. Let's take one more on it. I'm not sure how many we shot there. 
but I knew that flyer couldn't stand. Not just for five shots on there, I wasn't gonna do, that was not going to do. Living in Charleston opens you up to a wide range of natural targets to choose from. We've got some snail shells down there. And I've taken a couple shots at them. Darn if I can hit them. The distance is still 25 yards. The range is bigger to smaller left to right. And got some paces behind to help me try and see where. Let's see if we can't hit any of them. Fun target. Let's see if we can get some more of them. Well, puppy sure shook like I hit it. Gusty, pretty gusty, but it's not seeming to hold us back too far. Tell you what, coming back on that second shell without the pace is gonna be tricky, but we'll try it. This is the smallest shell here on the right. All right, let's come back around. A man with no pasty. Throw a couple out if I'm not gonna get too carried away. It's hard to see for me. can't stand to have a destructible target come back from the range not destroyed went ahead and put another pasty on that second shell that would seem to evade me there we gotta put him down that don't work that's more better gooder hw50s i am thoroughly pleased with it solid purchase no regrets a real rifle you can train with. I got it set up sights just like my sharps. Very happy with it. Recommend if you're serious about training, you got a backyard that'll let you do it. It's a good, cheap way to keep shooting.
especially with the way ammo and primers are anymore. It's a good way to keep shooting. So the HW50S also gets my nod of approval. Definitely.